Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is basically what not to do at uni, plus a lot of advice at the end, so I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so if you know anything about me, you know that I went to university last year for about a week before I dropped out. And when I say a week, it was more about three to two weeks, but you get the drift. You also would know that I need a drink. Stay hydrated. Now this year I am going back all over again. So I figured I would tell you what happened, why I dropped out, why I'm going back, and I would definitely take this as a what not to do at uni because I just <laughs> didn't do good. Anyway, I, I did actually have this idea to do, I did have this idea, like this video idea a few months ago, but I wrote down everything and then I was like, I feel like this might be a bit more individual than I'd planned. But you know, if you have anxiety or depression, you'll probably relate a bit more. If not, you'll still probably relate, but you know, <laughs> this is so awkward. Okay, got my notes, check it out, right. So, my whole life, I've never planned to go to uni. My plan was to become an artist and live that life of art. Ah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I'm so sorry. Anyway, I didn't want to go to uni and basically, if you live in England, when you go to college, just before your second year starts, they will start hounding you about university. They'll want you to write your personal statement, they'll want you to pick your options, everything they want it done you cast sort it out bitch but i didn't do any of this stuff because i was like no i'm not going i'm not going to do any of this stuff i had a friend who i sat with my entire year and every time i mentioned he'd be like you are going to go to uni and i'm like no but he was right he was right so at the last minute i decided you know what i will go to uni i'll go do psychology it'd be great i want that uni experience as people say but my main issue was i hate school i hated college college was the worst time of my life i hated high school i spent most of the time in the toilet not going to lessons same in college but yeah i was like I'm good at it though. I'm good at school, but I hate it, you know? So anyway, I was gonna do an apprenticeship and then I realised they only pay like £3 an hour and I mean, uni takes you money, so that's the opposite, but <laughs> what would I do an apprenticeship in? Nothing. But yeah, because I didn't want to go, I hadn't done any of the stuff I just said to you. I just went off on a tangent. I'm sorry, again. <laughs> so yeah, last minute, um, I hadn't applied to any apprenticeships i hadn't applied to any unis i hadn't done anything so i panicked i was like you know what i will go to uni i'll do psychology so uni applied everything was super last minute everybody had already finished their personal statements i was doing my first draft i did it though i finished it and i sent it in and at the end of everything in college i got a star a b so i could go to where I wanted to go and I got in at Manchester University. You know, dream come true. That was fine. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go to uni, I'll have a great time. So I wasn't gonna move in or anything. I was gonna stay home and I was gonna do the daily commute to university every day. It was gonna be, you know, horrible. When I decided to apply to accommodation, which I did do because my cousin said that I would have a shit time if I didn't, it was way past the dead by dead deadline. So yeah, I applied last minute majorly last minute and i got the leftover room which was catered i didn't want that and it had no bathroom well ensuite which i really wanted and i got a sink i don't understand what the fuck the point in just having a sink is like i brushed my teeth there i could have done that in the other one none of that was what i wanted but it was fine it was fine i moved in everything seemed great i was really like upbeat I'm looking at a script thing. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I was really confident and happy and I was like, yes, I'm gonna make so many friends. I'm gonna do amazing shit. It's gonna be great. And a few days in, that didn't happen. I immediately slumped into a depression and I like, this is what not to do, <laughs> basically. I slumped into a depression. I stopped talking to everybody. I avoided everybody like big time because we all shared like a tiny little kitchen and if somebody was in there i would not go in there i'd wait till the last minute everybody'd gone off for tea in the catered section and i would stay and cook myself a pizza even though i definitely should not have been able to afford that considering i'm paying for food but hey i was already a bit you know dodgy with the people i was living with but 
the lesson started and I was fine. I'm really good one-to-one. -one. I can get on with people and I'll be like, hey, my name's Hannah, who are you? <laughs> we can be friends. And it was going really well. I had a few close, well, two close friends I could have been really close with. And then like a group of friends who I sat with went in our lessons and stuff. And it was great, but <laughs> then, because I was depressed and anxious, I remember one time I was looking for a lecture and I did not know what the fuck it was and I just stopped mid in the middle of this building and I just started having a panic attack right there. People watched me and they did not help, but because I kept being late to my lectures and lessons and stuff, I just decided that I wasn't going to go to them anymore. I just stopped. I think I went to three lectures and one, what do they call them? It's like a lesson. It's like a small group of students learning. We'll call it a lesson. I think it's called something else, I can't remember. Anyway, it kept getting worse. I'd keep missing lessons and then that would make me more anxious and then I just wouldn't go in. To avoid that, it was like a vicious circle because the thought of going would give me anxiety and then the fact that I'd missed it would give me anxiety which would make me not want to go, which would make me miss it, which would give me anxiety. And then it... Yeah, it was great. Next step was I kind of decided that I didn't want to be at uni anymore. I was like, this sucks. <laughs> this sucks and I have to say it was my fault that it sucked not the uni's fault or even the accommodation even though I still stick by my guns that I do not like it <laughs> what was I saying why do I keep doing this I hate myself so it was shit and I was really not happy my mental health was like going down I remember I'd literally just sit in the corner crying at night and stuff and I had I was so reliant on Connor as well I was like please come to my accommodation because I can't I can't do it on my own and yeah it was great so I spoke to my form tutor I don't think they're called that my form tutor who basically sort of was like yeah I understand but people always feel a bit shaken up you know when you first start uni because it's like a big change so I, I'd recommend counseling and I was like okay sounds great i hate counseling i've had some seriously bad experiences with it but i'm always willing to give it a go so i was like fine the university provides counseling and you have to do like a test and it'll tell you basically how urgent you are the first time i did it i, I got like it was sort of like you're not great but you know you're not our priority so i left it i was like i'm not even gonna bother then later on when i was like really bad i filled it out and it said that i was urgent and i needed to speak to somebody so i was like okay good i will call them i called them and the bitch literally said to me no we, we're not we're not gonna talk to you because we just i don't even understand because she didn't say like we didn't have any spaces we didn't have any time or anything it was just sort of like yeah we can't be asked talking to you so fuck off so as you can imagine that did not help and i was like you know what nobody's gonna help me except for myself and the only thing i can think to do is to leave <sighs> I, yeah then i spoke to the guy who was in charge of everything and i was like bitch i need to go i need to leave now and he that they're, they're very friendly right they do they're not nasty to you at all except for the council bitch on the phone <laughs> fuck you by the way <laughs> No, but he was very much like, you know, everything's okay. Why do you want to leave? And I was like, I just, I'm not enjoying it. I'm having a shit time. My mental health's going downhill. What else happened? Oh, and I've missed like two weeks worth of lessons. And he was just like, so it's fine. You can catch up on it. And I was like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> Let me go. We eventually decided to suspend my university application so it's like an interrupted study so rather than just leaving i just paused it for a year <laughs> on the thing i've wrote my plan is to take drugs and refuse to isolate myself <laughs> i meant like take drugs as in antidepressants not <laughs> you know so yeah we decided to interrupt my study for a year and that's where we are now we're about to go back so basically we're summarizing everything that's happened and this is my advice to you and to myself obviously okay so step number one this is too late for you if, if you're going to uni this year because you've probably already sorted this out but think about it right take your time to decide what you're going to do if you're going into the second year of college now this is a good time to be thinking about it what are you going to do Take it seriously because I didn't and then I waited way too late to decide to do it. It's not the end of the world if you don't know what to do because if you apply to a course, as long as you've applied to something, you are then able to go through clearing to pick something else. So I have a friend who applied to do like math maths or something at university and then basically when she got her results she went on to clearing and now is doing film so what i'm saying is don't feel like you're trapped once you've applied as long as you've applied you've got that option so in other words get it sorted stop procrastinating you can do this step number two decide whether you're going to move out 
Obviously, if you're moving far away, you're going to move out. That's not even a question. But if you're moving like me to a nearby university, decide if you're going to move out. Because a lot of people say that staying at home sort of hinders your university experience. But, you know, don't take that as a reason to leave because I made more friends in my lessons than I did in my accommodation anyway. So reasons to get accommodation would be like, you want independence. You don't want to live at home anymore. Me. You want to make new friends. You just want to live closer to uni. Don't want to do the commute. Uh, that's fair enough as well. Obviously you've got to think about money. This year I have £22 a week to live on so maybe think about your funds before you apply to accommodation because I didn't this year because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Step number three. When you move in just chill out. You're gonna feel stressed. You're gonna feel anxious. You're gonna feel like, oh my god, I don't want to be here. But I think everybody does. Everybody feels that way. Everybody wants to fucking leave. But, you know, you've just got to give it some time. I reckon if I'd have stayed longer than two weeks, I probably would have been fine. But that's also not to say if you feel like fucking shit and you need to leave and nobody's helping you, just do it. <laughs> because I don't regret leaving at all. I think that was the right thing to do for me, so yeah. Although I would recommend giving it at least the first semester because I did leave <laughs> two weeks in. Yeah, so give it some time. You are going to feel stressed when you first move in. You know, I would definitely recommend making an effort to talk to people, even if you're so shy because they, they really appreciate it because they're sat there like this just as much as you are so when you go over and be like hey i'm this you know do you want to hang out do you you know do you want to get lunch together or something that they'll appreciate it because they will be just as lonely and scared as you step number four if you do have depression or anxiety or even if you don't if you start to isolate yourself please ask for help from anybody like the people around you are probably a lot nicer than you know you realize even though they're strangers they will probably be there to help you you know like your flat mates your parents anybody the teachers there is counseling probably provided although don't rely on that but yeah don't be afraid to ask for help because you know if you need it you need it and i know that <laughs> i don't know what number step we're on but i'd say last of all just try and enjoy it because think about it you are spending so much money at uni you know, just let yourself go. Just don't think about what everybody else is thinking of you and all of that shit. I know this is like random, but be yourself, enjoy it. Join societies and groups and go out and do things. I think that's the main thing with uni is you've got to go and do it. Just say yes, you know, say yes. <laughs> so yeah, I am going back to uni and I'm, I'm going to take my own advice. So if you need it then you take it too all right well i'll see you next week i hope if you're going to uni that you're sorted because i'm not again ah yeah i'll see you next week bye